All right, guys, I'm going to talk about blade reference point and hydraulic control point and the importance of both. Okay, you can see on the right side here, there's a triangle and a crosshair. See that crosshair? That's your reference point. That's used mainly for checking in to, uh, benchmarks for elevation. I'm going to tilt my blade a little bit one side or the other kind of exaggerated you can see my actual percent of slope had changed there so if I put my crosshair on the right side it's saying okay the right side that's 98 foot left side is 97.43 notice here in 3d though if I wanted to follow a line tightly on the left side of the blade I would make sure that my crosshair is on the left side of the blade again you might have been in 2d view and kind of see this, change that to 3D, and you can really fine tune what you want to see. Very helpful, especially for following line work. Okay, make sure when you're benching in, this crosshair is on the correct position that your blade is on the benchmark. So let's talk about the triangle. That's your hydraulic control point. On the newer panels, the MCP-80s, what you see here, has a bigger screen and uh, much more advanced technology. You know, I'm going to take the safety off so we can use automatics. I'm doing this so you can understand what the hydraulic control point will do. So you see the triangle is in the middle of the blade. If I were trying to hold the left side, call this a road if you will, if I were trying to hold that slope, I would make sure that that triangle is on the left side. That's a quick hot function. This button here is a hot function. See my finger over here at the bottom left? That's a hot function to move that triangle. See I'm pressing it, it's moving. You can also go to tools, blade settings and change that here. Okay. But notice what happens with the triangle on the left side target slopes 5.9%. If I change that to the right side, well now it's negative 6.1 because the right side is doing something different. And you'll see in auto what I'm talking about. So first, let's go ahead and just adjust our offset to where it's kind of matching. You can go to tools, vertical offset, auto is Kind of quick feature to match grade. So I'm going to engage auto, pulling the trigger button here. Right now we're in auto, you can see in red. Now watch this. If I change to the right side, well, suddenly I'm trying to hold that other slope, that target slope. So that's the important of, importance of the triangle. Take it out of auto. Make sure that triangle is on the side you want to hold for slope, whichever side. So that's the difference between hydraulic control point and reference point. One's for guidance and check again, and the other is for holding correct slope and elevation on a certain side of your blade. As long as that triangle is on your surface, it'll still cut grade. So if the left side or right side, let's say the right side, is, it says off grid up here. As long as that triangle is still on your surface, you might say cutter fill over here, it'll still maintain that cutter fill. 